Today in this video, we we'll discuss about how to convert the given context-free grammar to push-down automata. So, context-free grammar is given. We need to find its equivalent push-down automata. This is a given context-free grammar. Before finding its equivalent push-down automata, just we see the transition function of the push-down automata. The transition function of the push-down automata is given like this. K is the straight. Sigma is the input symbol. This notation indicates the top of this track. So from the current state, on reading the input symbol from the input tape, at the same time it checks what is available at the top of this track. That may be a change in the state by pushing or popping the contents onto the <coughs> track. So our objective is to find for every production rule the equivalent transition rule. So now let us blindly follow the procedure to find the equivalent pushdown automata. Before finding the equivalent pushdown automata, let us separately write what is a variable set and what is the terminal set. Variable set from the given grammar you can easily identify from the capital letters. So whichever is given in capital letters are the variables. Whichever is given in the small letters are the set of terminals. So we have separated it. For every variable as well as for every terminal symbol, we will be writing the transition rule. So this is a way of writing the transition rule. This set of transition rule are written for the variables and these two rules are written for the terminal symbols. Now let us see what is the procedure to write the transition rule. Q. Throughout the set of transition rules, we use only one state which is Q. This indicates the current input symbol in the input tape. Whenever there is a variable at the top of this track, we mention the input symbol from the input tape as epsilon. It means from the given state, it does not read anything from the input tape when the top of the stack is a variable. So when the top of the stack is yes, on the right hand side, what you need to write is the change of status Q. What is being pushed down to the stack is whatever is given on the right hand side of the production rule, which is A, A, B, C. Similarly, let us write the rules for the other variables. Q, epsilon, A. Once again, I just remind you why we are writing epsilon. If the top of the stack contains a variable, then we do not read anything from the input tape. That is indicated by epsilon. So Q, epsilon, A. The change of state is once again Q. And whatever is given on the right hand side A, you have to write it here. Actually, on the right hand side of A, there are two options. One is A, B, another one is A. Both the rules we have included. Similarly, for the variable B also, we have written Q, comma, B, A. And one more option we have, that also I have written in the single line, which is Q, uh, comma, B. Similarly, we have written the rule for variable C also. So, for all the variable, we have written the equivalent transition rules. Now, let us write the transition rule for the terminals. There are two terminals A and B. For every terminal, you have to write the rule in this way. Q, A, A. On the right hand side, you have to write that the change of state is Q and epsilon. This epsilon is nothing but top of this track is replaced by epsilon. It is equivalent to pop operation. So what is the meaning of this transition rule from the given state Q? When the input symbol from the input tape is A and if the top of the track is also A, the state is Q and whatever is available at the top of this track, you replace it by epsilon. It means you are doing the pop operation. Similarly, for the terminal B also it is written. And this procedure is applicable for every grammar. For every variable, this is a format to write the transition rule. For every terminal symbol, this is a format to write the transition rule. This kind of designing PDA is actually known as parser. which has the application in the field of compiler design. Especially, this is a top-down parser. Let us try to understand the working of this PDA with an example. Now, I have considered the same grammar. And from the grammar, I derived the string AA, BA, BA. And for our comfort, I have numbered the rule. As per the numbering, I have applied the rules and I have uh, derived the string. Any derivation of the string should start from the start symbol, yes. 
yes is replaced by the option a a b c now i have chosen the leftmost variable to derive at the next step now this a can be replaced by either a b or a i have chosen a b once again i have chosen the leftmost variable this b can be replaced by either b a or b i have chosen b a so b is replaced by b a so we have written as a a in place of b b a b c at the next step in place of a i can choose again either a b or a but now this time i have chosen a similarly in place of b i have chosen b finally in place of this variable c a in the entire derivation process every time we chose the leftmost variable to replace with this type of derivation is called lmd which means leftmost derivation now already we have seen the block diagram of the pushdown automata you can check in the previous video to understand the block diagram of the pushdown automata now there is a slight change in the previous block diagram i said that the pushdown automata is empty the emptiness of the stack is indicated by z0 but now in the stack we have the start symbol of the grammar now let us try to understand it just for the sake of clarity i have brought the stack implementation here and once again i have repeated the transition rules in another paper let us see how this pda is working see here the push down automata is given in the push down automata the string is stored in the input tape a a b a b a now let us see how this pda is recognizing the string initially the stack contains the start symbol yes input tape is having terminal symbol the top of the stack is containing s whenever there is a variable at the top of the stack the variable may be anything with respect to the grammar it does not read anything from the input tape now the variable is s so we have to choose this rule what the rule says the status q it should not read anything from the input tape top of the stack is s in place of s you have to push all these symbols onto the stack but while pushing onto the stack in place of s first you need to push the symbols from the rightmost end so we have pushed c here in place of s this s is replaced by a a b c but first you push the c followed by b followed by a followed by terminal a now you check what is available at the top of this stack terminal symbol whenever there is a terminal symbol at the top of this stack now the read write head is conscious about what is available in the input tape it is also a terminal symbol the same a so it means this rule is being executed the input symbol is also a the top of the stack is also a if that is a case pop the top of the stack now the read write head is advanced to point to the next input symbol which is this a right now the push down automata is reading the second a now what is available at the top of the stack the variable a is available at the top of the stack whenever there is a variable it does not read anything from the input tape go and select the transition rule the pda or the parser selects a transition rule for a there are two options a b or a but in the derivation we have chosen this ab so in place of a we have to push this ab onto the stack so already your stack contains c b a now in place of this a we have to push this b a so now exactly our stack contains the variable c the variable b in place of this a a b is pushed first b is pushed followed by a now check what is available at the top of the stack a terminal is available now the read write head is conscious now what it reads it reads a both the terminals are the same so pop the symbol from the top of the stack and wants the read write head to point to the next input symbol now once again check what is available at the top of the stack there is a variable if there is a variable then we have to select the transition rule that is written for variable what is written for variable b this b can be replaced by either ba or b 
we have chosen this rule in the derivation of the string so now we have to push ba onto the stack in what order already c is there already variable b is there in place of this variable b we have to push variable a then the top of the stack contains a terminal b now top of stack contains this b now the read write head becomes conscious what it is reading because there is a terminal at the top of the stack since both are same this is being eliminated from the top of the stack and the read write head is advanced to point to the next symbol now what is available at the top of the stack variable a is available now variable a once again can be replaced with two options either a b or a now the right option is a b so let us do that c b a now this a can be replaced by a b first you push b then the top of the stack must contain a that is a terminal now the read write head is also reading a so pop read write head is advanced to point to the next symbol b now the top of the stack is b in place of b the rule what we have to select is small b so we in place of b we push the terminal b now this terminal and what the read write head is reading is one and the same so pop b now the read write head is advanced to point to the next symbol The top of this track is containing B. Sorry, this B is already eliminated, I think. Now, finally, the top of this track contains C. Now, the C could be replaced by the right option, which is A. So, the top of this track contains A. Now, this A is matching with what it is reading by the read write head. Now finally the stack became empty. This is the way the parser works. Why it is called as top down parser? Top down parsing means a string is being derived always from the start symbol and a string w is being derived. If a string is derived in this way it is known as top down parsing. If you look carefully observe the stack also initially the start symbol s is pushed down to the stack from the start symbol you could observe that the string what is being stored in the input tape is generated from left to right in your stack and every time the terminal whenever is available at the top of the stack it is being matched with what is kept in the input tape and we keep popping so this is the way the parser works and the push down automata recognizes the string so that's why we can say that this design of pda is equivalent to the given grammar. Thank you.